I've spent my career um, focusing on the mental health, or more broadly speaking, behaviour and emotional problems of children with developmental disabilities. Children with developmental disabilities are about 2 to 3 per cent of the population of, of children, but they have much greater rates, much higher rates of behavioural and emotional problems than typically developing children, and those behavioural and emotional problems have major impacts, not only on the, their capacity to function effectively and live independently, but also uh, major impacts on their parents' mental health and the cost of care for their community and government. So we are researching ways to uh, both prevent uh, the problems in terms of the original causes of developmental disabilities at the brain function level, uh, but also helping parents to learn how best to manage and prevent emotional and behavioural problems and how to minimise that um, as a barrier. And that's the Triple P or Positive Parenting Program. It's a program to train parents in how to manage behavioural and emotional problems. And what the Triple P program has managed to do is to deliver high quality information for parents about reducing and preventing behavioural and emotional problems in their children to, to large populations across whole communities. There is a version of Triple P called the Stepping Stones Triple P program which is designed for parents of children with developmental disabilities. So it especially addresses the kinds of behavioural and emotional problems which are more frequent or only tend to occur in children with developmental disabilities. And this program has been already shown to work when it's been delivered in specialist settings. But where it hasn't yet been shown to be effective is whether it can, like the Triple P program, be delivered to whole communities. So that's what we are uh, undertaking at the present. And our uh, goal is to create programs which can not only be effective for parents when they're administered by a few experts in universities, but can be uh, implemented by whole communities across the state so that emotional behavioural problems of children with developmental disabilities becomes less of a health uh, and welfare burden for the community in general.